Hi boys and girls, we are going to do a cool science activity that is connected to Parshas Vayishlach. Here are the supplies that we'll need. The picture template printed on cardstock. This shows the three ways Yaakov prepared to face Esav in this Parsha. Sending gifts represented by the fluffy, sheep-like shape, dividing up his camp, expressed by the sword, and davening to Hashem, the book. We'll also need a battery pack, two AA batteries, an LED light, two paper clips, scotch tape, colorful chalk, salt, liquid glue, four plastic plates, and an X-Acto knife or razor. Let's get started. Check with an adult if it's okay to use the X-Acto knife or razor. Otherwise, ask them to help you for this step. If you're doing it, be very careful as it is quite sharp. Using the X-Acto knife, cut off the rubber around the end of the wires that are attached to the battery pack. Once we are done with this step, we will twist the end of each wire to a paper clip. While we're cutting, let's talk about Yaakov Avinu and his preparation for a possible war with Esav. We can learn from him that even though he knew that Hashem was with him, he did not rely on a miracle and still did his part. To illustrate this idea, let's imagine you are going to attend summer camp, making it your first time away from home. A month before you leave, your mother goes shopping with you. She wants to make sure you have everything you need. You spend time buying clothes, other necessities, and of course, a sturdy suitcase. A week before camp, your mother asks you to pack your suitcase. The problem is that you really don't like packing. You don't enjoy folding clothes or figuring out how to fit everything in the suitcase, so you decide to trust Hashem that he'll take care of it. Hashem, you say to yourself, if you want me to go to camp, please make sure that my suitcase gets packed up. How silly is that? We can't just trust that Hashem will do a miracle for us. We need to do our part. Now back to our experiment. Strengthen the connection between each paper clip and wire by wrapping a piece of scotch tape around the place where they meet. Start with one side, then do the other side. Next, put the two AA batteries into the battery pack. We want to make sure they are facing the right way so we'll check that the plus side of each battery is facing the plus side in the pack, and the same with the minus sign. Now it's time for coloring the salt. Prepare four paper plates for this purpose. Pour salt onto each of the plates, enough to cover about half of the plate. Soon we get to pull out the most colorful items we have in our supply list, namely the chalk. These little helpers will be the best tools for coloring the salt, because what do you think would happen if we tried coloring with markers? Hmm, never tried it? Seems like it might not work too well. Begin coloring the first plate of salt with a piece of chalk. We'll start with the blue, rubbing the salt back and forth with the chalk until it's all blue. Next, we'll do the same with the second plate of salt, except that this time, we will color it red using the red piece of chalk. Lastly, we'll color the third plate of salt with yellow chalk, and for the fourth plate, we'll leave it white. Now we will need our paper with the printed images of Yaakov preparing for war. Squeeze liquid glue over the outline of the book. Remember that wherever you put glue, the salt will stick, so be mindful of where you are squeezing the glue. Next, grab your blue plate of salt and pour it carefully over the glue, making sure not to leave any glue uncovered. Dump the excess back onto the plate. Now we will repeat the same process first for the sword and then for the fluffy sheep, squeezing glue over the outline pouring salt over it and dumping the excess back onto the plate. We will use the yellow salt for the sword and plain white salt for the sheep. Back to our story about packing for camp. To make sure your suitcase gets packed, you have to do your part by putting the clothing into the suitcase without expecting Hashem to make a miracle for you. This is exactly what we learned from Yaakov Avinu. He was concerned that Asa would want to harm him. After all, Asa was coming his way with 400 armed men but he knew that in addition to trusting in Hashem, Hashem wanted him to do his part. Yaakov Davin to Hashem, but he didn't stop there. He sent gifts to Esav, hoping to avoid war. Then he made sure to divide his camp into two parts to increase the chance of their safety. He did this part to be completely ready for war if it were to come to that.
Now attach each paper clip to the top of the paper, making sure it meets the end of each swirly design. Next, squeeze glue over the swirly lines, making sure it overlaps onto the paper clips a bit. Be sure to leave space between the two swirls because that's where the little LED light is going to go. Pour the red salt over the swirls, again making sure to cover any glue. Then shake the excess onto the plate while lifting the battery pack with one hand so that it does not become detached from the page. You can do it one side at a time as shown in the video if that's easier. Using glue, reinforce the place where the paper clip meets the paper. Pour or sprinkle more of the red salt onto this glue, disposing of the excess. Now bend the wires of the LED light outward so they are sticking out at a 120 degree angle, which is somewhere between 90 and 180. If you haven't learned about angles yet, that's okay. The idea is that we want the LED light to be positioned between the two swirls with the two wires flat on the paper lined up to each swirl so that they can easily slip into the line of glue on either side. At this point, the LED should light up. If it does not, try taking it out and this time position it in a slightly different way. Now for the science behind this. The battery pack is connected to wires which are attached to paper clips, which are connected to the salt which is linked to the LED light. Since salt conducts electricity, we have a full circuit allowing the batteries to power the LED light. Thank you for joining and we can't wait to have you next week at our Parsha studio.